Okay, I think we're good. Hopefully. I don't think it's gonna be a super long one today. We're trying to eat dinner earlier these days to try to get the baby to bed earlier, but it's a nice day. I don't have a jacket on, so I, I'd, like to, uh, I'd like to be out for a walk. I see Noah, it's been a little while. Good to see you. I see Ambrose, Bear in the Garden, It's Only Me, Florian Schwartz, Allie's here. Got the weather going for us. I don't think I have my wallet on. I guess it doesn't really matter. I really gotta change out the, um, I gotta change out chat phone. I think I saw Bagels and Walks John here as well, too. Doomsday, Marisol, Kevin, Rude, Vermeer, Sharon Solomon. Good afternoon, everyone. Dirk, seven months of membership. Thank you, Dirk. NYC Bubbles, hello. Yeah, Bagels and Walks Sean. I want to, like, reconsider the chat phone uh, thing. I think I want to do the wrist strap thing again as a potential. Because, like, Having to keep cranking my neck and it's like linked to the pocket, I think it's too much. You know, actually speaking of that, maybe I'll just unlink the phone right now and hold it in my other hand. I don't know. Okay. No, I'd rather not. I don't want to keep a hand busy with the phone, but maybe in an upcoming scenario. In an upcoming scenario, I should try a wrist strap. I'm gonna go south, I'm not going to the ferry. I don't have enough time for that, I don't think. But uh, I guess we'll see. Definitely not the ferry, we'll see about that. I'm giving you another idea of riverside traffic here by the East River during rush hour. I'm in no particular rush at the moment, so we're just walking right by the uh, helicopter, which I've still never taken, despite what folks might think. I mean, look at the, this is an exit off of the FDR. It's also the way to get out of uh, Waterside Plaza if you park there. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like having the phone not attached, because I have to keep, like, I want to keep the pocket where it is and look at my phone and I feel like if I could just have it here or like on my wrist next to my watch or something or like on the underside of my wrist so I can keep 
glancing down at Shaq quickly, but also not having to uh, crank my neck to glance at it. Because it's otherwise, if I change the angle, so here's what happens if I change the angle of the pocket uh, when I'm walking. This is to a comfortable angle to read the chat. There's a helicopter coming in, actually. What good timing for some noise. Wait, what is this going to do? Let me see. My shirt is like magic eye. If I'm on a video call for work, I always feel like I'm blending into the background in a funny way. You like squint your eyes, you can see me pop out at you in 3D. Taxi's on Twitch now. A necklace mount for Pocket 3 and goggles for chat. I mean, if the, so interestingly enough, Pixel has never supported video out via USB-C, but it just started to uh, with the latest beta update, which I have. I noticed it at work when I plugged in my uh, Pixel to charge. I got a I got a notification saying, "Do you want to mirror your display?" Which means it should work with Vtour's go uh, goggles now, AR glasses. So I kind of want to really extra try it now. I just want them to like partner with me, so I don't have to pay 450 bucks for like a test that may end up not working well. Otherwise, I could always buy and return it, but I don't want to have to do that. You know what I mean? Either way, it'll be the same for them, <laughs> you know? Poppy's a member for 10 months, thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah, we gotta go to Peter Cooper. I wonder if we're getting better cherry blossoms there now. Usually once they start, and they did last time we went, which was just a few days ago, it starts to go fast. So let's take a look. The guy inside the helicopter was also filming his landing. So I don't know if he does that on a regular basis. The old helicopter uh, excursion from the airport or wherever he went. Lots of blossoms, nice. So I'm thinking I'm gonna walk up the stairs at the plaza, maybe the back stairs, and then walk across that bridge along the FDR, head through that little park area next to uh, Astro Levy, and then that'll take us into Peter Cooper, and we can go directly to the cherry blossoms. Sebastian, Sebastian, hello to you in the afternoon. Connie and the family in South Carolina, but you're sick. I'm glad you're here, but I'm sorry to hear you're sick. I hope you feel better. I hope all of you feel better. Shortly. If I if I get sick, I like to time travel, you know? Just slam back as much NyQuil as is okay to do and then try to sleep it off. Hasn't been working as well recently when I do get sick, but you know. That's sunny side, but not in sunny side. That would be in that direction. If we're talking about sunny side Queens, that is. So as long as these stairs are open, I'm gonna pop up them and then go through Waterside Plaza, which has some pricey apartments. 
it isn't out of the way. Uh, is this planter really right in front of the stairs? Eh, kind of, not super close. All right. Let's just. Oh man, I'm not wearing my main big backpack. I just have my little screaming pack with me. I feel light as a feather. Light as a feather. See how much time I'm making on these stairs? Light as a feather. Right to the sun. John M. in London, hello. I don't know if Michael has built one. They might. I think they do, actually. Ooh, a chess club. Thursdays at 1 to 145. It's not a very long chess club. It's all of a sudden quite windy. Yeah, I don't like taking more than whatever I need. Uh, thankfully, I'm still only on, you know, as-needed medications. But I, the day will come when I will have to uh, fight my primary to not take any cholesterol meds. Oh, the pizzeria opened here. Marco's Pizzeria opened up. I don't know when it opened, but nice that they have a pizza place right in the plaza here. So you don't have to leave for your pizza. And Gristiti's also has a deli counter, so you can get a lot of prepared foods and sandwiches there, too. Mercury Moments Josh is here. Bonus on a beautiful day. Yes, that was the, the goal. Although the wind has picked up quite a bit. JG Faw on Twitch says the walk reminds him of uh, the Barbican in London. I haven't been to London for a while. Oh, the Hunter College sign there on that building is really falling apart. I think it's Brookdale Health Building. supposed to be quite nice. I wonder what the weather's going to be for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. That's Saturday, actually. It's Saturday at 11. And they have it scheduled from like 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Does it really go on that long? The walking is so much less stressful than, uh, than driving. The FDR is actually moving pretty good over here, considering we're at 5 p.m. on a weekday. Looks dry Saturday, that's good. But well, I think the temperature drops so it's not gonna be as uh, as spring-like as today and the rest of the week. Actually, the temperature's already dropping a little bit, but not bad. It's still gonna be in the mid-50s till the evening. Still waiting to get my bonus coupons from TikTok. So it sounds like TikTok was a, uh, the house is in favor of it. I really still don't fully understand the exact situation with TikTok. I thought it was just going to be a straight out ban vote, but now that I read into it, it's actually a vote that still has it still has to go through a lot of legislative uh, I don't know councils or whatever meetings and things like that to really decide if it's going to happen or not but they if it all goes through they're trying to force bite dance to sell tiktok to another company or if they don't want to do that then they would ban it in america i don't know i was telling biggest and walk sean earlier that i'm just not a fan of governments banning access to websites so I hope that it doesn't go to that. But that's that's just me. Alexander Toodle, hello. Oh man, 70 tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know how I I think I have a jam-packed day of 
computer, sitting in front of computer work tomorrow, so definitely will be easy to take advantage of the 70 degree weather, not Borat, not not Trump, not, not not, did I call it a not not joke? My goodness. Yeah, we were just in Waterside, we just walked by Asher Levy, which has a pool, indoor and outdoor. I think they have gym facilities too. Uh, on my right is the Manhattan VA, the Veterans Affairs Hospital, and Peter Cooper Village, part of Stuyvesant Towns in front of me. Hopefully I can open a window. Well, if I stay home, our building has a bunch of construction work and they've been doing a lot of weather delays because of like the winds on Monday, the rains, all those things. So they're gonna be slamming away on the facade of the building. So that's gonna be nice. So <laughs> pass the Senate and be signed by the president, I guess. But then is that all the, the legal aspects of it? Cause it seems like to force another company to be sold so that it can operate in the United States? Are there is there any precedent for that? Like, you know what I mean? It's probably gonna have a lot of hurdles, I'm assuming. What do I know? Oh, I didn't see it. Uh, we have to, I've been I've been out of touch with SNL recently. Oh yeah. The blossoms are in. Yeah, they're in. Hold on, we got we got some important uh, legislature of our own here. Hold on, I know I don't. That doesn't apply. I know, I know. I'm just uh, you know making stuff up. I'm just a bill. It's happened. Can I can I put a TikTok up here? Hold on, let me let me see. How does the TikTok work? Just like a vertical video. Do I just like record it and upload it? Hold on. Can I stitch TikToks together so I can like zoom in a little bit and do like an extra? And then do like a zoom out all the way and then finalize it with like a all right <laughs> sorry sorry well hopefully you enjoyed this view of the uh cherry blossoms in no. No. peter cooper village i think these are i think i forgot if they're kwanzaa blossoms i think they might be But in direct sunlight, it might be hard to see from behind. But anyway, the blossoms are here. They're ready for us. Yeah, I know TikTok's been trying to push landscape videos. I think they have, yeah, they have other blossoms. So I didn't realize they had more than just this little grouping. That I can't see anything. So there's a couple more over here on this pathway. There's a car coming. There's this car parked right in front of me face and then these other types of trees i think i'm not cherry blossoms but again i don't know maybe they are bueller is that is adam here roma check 75 as well tripping music hello uh it's a done deal well i guess we'll see i'm just not a fan of banning websites at the government level what are these? Are these also considered cherry blossoms? Anyone know? Are these white cherry blossoms? All right. B80 on uh, on the Twitch. Hello. All right. Let me go back. What time is it? Five. So let me go back to first step. Yeah, I don't have. Like I mentioned, I don't have a really, uh, super amount of time, but I feel like we don't really walk in the 20s on First Avenue, so. Maybe I'll walk around there. It's my old stomping grounds too because it's right next to PS40. Uh, 104. Norell is here. Good morning to you. Good afternoon slash evening for me.
Uh, Kwanzan is a type of cherry blossom, is it not? Not Kwanzaa. I'm not sure it would be TK, so I, I, I tried to read that again, it still doesn't make much sense. As long as they don't start banning cherry blossoms. You know, once you start banning TikTok, it's a slippery slope. Maybe, I don't know. No skateboard riding. No, I'll, I'll leave that to, uh, to Tom from Walks on Wall Street. You know, he was originally Wall Street skate bro, right? Is that... Do I remember that correctly? I would... I can ride a skateboard once until I break every bone falling off of it, which would happen quickly. Well, you're working? Tell him no. Tell him that's it. Tell him you do, do the do the quiet quitting thing where you're still working and collecting a paycheck. Don't even tell them you're leaving. Just say you're going to work remotely and just re slowly join meetings whenever you feel like it and, you know, get it to the point where they'll be like, what's going on? And you say, oh, I actually live in the United States now. I have another job. Bye. Yeah, the data and the owner not being the U.S. sounds like it's the right issue. But again, I feel like the U.S. can't own all the data of things being used in, 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 in this country. Like, this is not the way to becoming a Type 3 global civilization. But what do I know? I know, I keep throwing around the whole Type 3 global civilization thing. I'm a weirdo. First they come for TikToks, next they'll come for Pringles. Yeah, that would be... That, that's, that's the end. If that happens... We can no longer speak about anything. They'll ban me. The pan full bags of chips, it's all air now. They open up a Bonchon here. That place went through a few uh, a few different restaurants. It was Burger King at one point, then it became a Moe's. Uh, it's like that, you know, welcome to Moe's. It's like a burrito place, so kind of like a fake Chipotle. In some ways, it was better because it had one really good... There's a helicopter flying right over. I don't see that very often. Right there. Shit <laughs> poem eulogizing TikTok. Oh, no, I gotta read this. Creativity blooms, dance and laughter in bustling rooms. Short in time, vast in delight, a vibrant world day and night. Yeah. It's not bad. A little generic. I was hoping to include something about my data. Wow, look at this Land Rover. Where's Ron? Wow, this is a beast of a Land Rover. It looks like a looks like a Wrangler from today, doesn't it? Huh. Gotta go to Moe's. There's a fan following me. I'm sure they get in trouble for using helicopters to follow some random weirdo dude around. Ron is here. Good. Did you like that Land Rover? Because it liked you. Oh, it's a retrofitted? So they made some mods to it? Alright, let me figure out if I can... I'll, I'll post that TikTok later. I had trouble posting uh, TikTok like videos recorded on the iPhone. Like if I uploaded it to Google Photos and I downloaded it somewhere else, even though it's a .mov file, it like doesn't want to be recognized by so many things. It's really weird. There was one burrito at Moe's that I really got liked every time. They had it for a limited time, but then they got it off the menu, but then they could still make it. It was the Philly cheesesteak burrito. It was really good because it used the queso. And uh, I asked them once for it. They said, oh, it's not on the menu anymore. And I asked them, do you still have the ingredients to make it? They said, yeah. I said, well, you know my next question. Can you do it? And they said, yeah, they did it. Ken Shabby, hello. I wouldn't say it's an early uh, end to the working day considering the time that I actually start working. I don't know. 
I think we're good. Plus, I, I like don't really take a long lunch or anything like that, so I think we're all right. But yeah, my TikTok is up now. Let's see how long it lasts. Oh, Ralph's is opened again. Ralph's is only here for the spring, summer, and early fall. Uh, but they're, they're open. Pretty good ices. They have good uh, soft serve as well, if you like soft serve. But I think I don't know where they're originally from, Staten Island or Long Island, but they're very good. This building right here, this luxury apartment building, this is the one that used to be the combination KFC Pizza Hut. Uh, Pizza Hut was on the first floor, KFC was on the second floor. And then it became, I think, like a uh, some sort of medical building with the same structure. Then they completely tore it down and built this luxury thing. Uh, there was actually a funeral home right next to it. I don't know what happened to that place, but I guess it, it just got bought out or whatever. All right, I think everyone needs to stop here because they don't have the light. Anyway. Yeah, Adam was over on 23rd. And thir uh, 22nd and 3rd, 23rd, 3rd over there, right? If I remember. Do you remember? The 78 tank Ford Bronco Ranger. Snow, no more snow. There's not going to be any more snow. I mean, again, there could be, but I'm calling it. I know I called it last time, but then we got some more snow. <laughs> I'm calling it again. So that means we're going to get more snow. The thin pizza spot followed by Rouse, because that's a treat. No, I think we're probably... We have some leftovers at home, but I don't think it's enough for dinner, so I think we're going to have some Chinese food later again anyway. Mad for chicken, I haven't tried that one. Wait, no, is that the same as turntable? Is that their sub name? I don't think it is. Maybe it is. No, I don't remember. No, I think it's a different one. I don't know. I don't know. Man, they really hate pigeons here. <sighs> it's not the 21st night of September. It's that weird noise. And this building right here used to be a blimpy. The corner store, anyway. I don't know what the building above it anymore was, I forgot. But it was a blimpy, and it actually still sliced its own meats in front of you instead of those pre cut little combo uh, layered things. We like to get a little bit of snow, just become spring. Yeah, let's see, we'll see what happens. New York Comedy Club on 24th Street. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Right next to the Penny Lane apartment building, right? We're in the Gramercy area now. I guess we could uh, walk by. There's a Tesla coming. I don't see plates. Probably Jersey or Pennsylvania, but Connecticut. I, I, I didn't call it right. Oh well. We'll see what Gramercy Park looks like when people are actually around. I'm out of the crack of dawn and we usually walk by. Robin! Ah, yeah, Biggles and Walk Sean told me the Concord is coming back, but I doubt I'm gonna make it there. It's gonna be great weather tomorrow, too. Maybe Biggles and Walk Sean can make it over? Joe Drivers in Connecticut. Do I base drivers on what plates they have? I think everybody does that. I think every state has another state close by where they, if they see the plates on a car from that neighboring state and the car did something they didn't like, they'll probably be like, ah, it's gotta be Jersey. If you're in New York, that's what you say. So I'm assuming 
every state has something like that with a neighboring state. Middle, middle of Gramercy Park is John Wilkes Booth's brother. Oh, he was an actor or something, right? Oh, well, we're not going to get him from the front. He's facing south. But yeah, Gramercy Park, private park, you need a key. If you're in the area, you get one. I'm assuming if you stay in a hotel near the area. I'm not even sure if this hotel is actually open. I don't think it is. But you may be able to get a key that way also if you're a guest of the hotel. What are these, daffodils? Is that the right kind of flower? Because it's like, not like it's, it's... Yeah. Apple, Steve, and Loki. Hello, afternoon. Yeah, this, this cranking my neck down to look at the phone is really... I gotta put an order in for a, uh, like a wrist strap for the phone. But I need something like a rotating... Is there gonna be too many moving parts? Make a long shot, you probably have already looked into this, right? Have you found the best one yet? Ziggy. What Ziggy on Twitch says when it's an Iowa plate, their tat says it's another idiot out wandering around. Oh boy. Yeah, I think we're actually getting lower temperatures again next week. I don't know much about actual numbers, but I saw some lows dipping into the 30s. That's probably more normal temperatures considering we're still in March. Technically, we'll be in spring soon. It's already, what, the 13th? Yes, yeah, so in about a week we'll be in spring. Or is it exactly a week? Is it the 20th this year, March 20th, 21st? I don't know. And this building here, 18 Gramercy South, used to be like a women's only apartment building. I forget the exact way it worked, but my mom told me about it when she first came here from Russia on her own. She said she was able to stay there somehow. It was like a women's only building. I don't know. Somebody might know more. You get my usual, you know, I kind of know something about this, but I can't tell you enough information about it. That's the best kind, right? Imagine driving and finding everyone has Hawaii plates. I mean, you can't, you can't really get a rental car from Hawaii and drive it somewhere else, right? Can you do that? I feel like that's how a lot of cars with different plates end up, you know, other than like a road trip. That's probably how they end up in, uh, in different states a lot of the time. Oh yeah, I think this is also the Iron Fist house from the Netflix show. The corner there. I don't know off the top of my head about other ones they did. I have reliable facts. I have some hearsay, you know. At least I got the daffodils right. And this place always has a long line. I don't know what's the, what it is about this ice cream at this Cafe Panna, but even now it has quite a bit of a line. And they're preparing for longer lines by having that little uh, rope guard around it. So there's something about this place. Anyone here actually try it? Adam? Mercury Moments Josh? No, anyone? Carla, hello. Oh, it was like an SRO, but way nicer. Single room occupancy. I'm familiar with those. Edwin Booth, a star on the stage. His talent set many a heart to rage. Too rich. With passion and craft, he did enchant in every role he proved with merit and grant. Hmm. It's okay, rhyming-wise. Oh, yeah, Pete's Tavern. 1860-something. <laughs> Again, there I go with my facts. I know they have it. 1864. That's odd. <laughs> Disney Plus is rebooting most of the Marvel series soon. Interesting. With the same, like, casts for the most part. Because I thought Daredevil was coming back somehow. Oh, it's run by Danny Meyer's daughter. The guy who created Shake Shack. Interesting. It is very good. My facts can stand in court. Maybe. Probably not. 18 Gramercy Park was women's temporary residence owned by the Salvation Army from 1962 to 2008. So see, I wasn't, I wasn't completely, uh, completely lying there. 
Why you always lie? Which one was the family's go-to restaurant, Noah? There was a Japanese restaurant here that I've always wanted to try that I never have called Yama. I don't know. I never tried it. But it's been here for a little while, I think. This one, Yama. It's been here since 88. And I still haven't tried it. It's been in this country before I was. I don't know, if the, can you get the QR code? Can somebody, like, get that? All right, let's go to Union Square. Fuck. I should, I should just number these as episodes at this point, shouldn't I? Rather than dates. I could probably go back and label the lives as episode one, two, three, whatever. I don't know if that's worth anything, but I could. Kuma Monster ran into a filming of Daredevil in Tribeca. Adam also doesn't get the hype on the Cafe Panna place. I mean, I guess I'll, I'll reserve my personal judgment until I try it, but it does have long lines. I have to catch it when it's like raining out and not super fun for ice cream. So I don't have to wait. Oh, March 19th is the first day of spring in the Northern Hemisphere. Based on our... Uh... Oh, Choshi! Yes, Choshi! My mom loved Choshi! She absolutely enjoyed that place like anything else. She really, she always like wanted to go there. Yes. I remember. Gup Shop is good Indian. Haven't been there, but yeah, seen, seen that place a few times. Right by Union Square now. Time check. 24. Okay, not too bad. Union Square Market is happening today. Pediatric dentistry to experience the difference. Painting lady. What is that? Oh wait, isn't that like a remake of another of a show from another country, The Painting Lady? That guy really loves Duncan. See a sweater? I don't know what BTK is talking about. Donor project is closed after 10 years. That's a shame. Raymore Flanagan. I remember this place originally as Kitty City. Then I believe it became a Toys R Us, maybe a Kids R Us or something, which was slightly different, I think. And then it became furniture stores. In some order, like maybe I skipped a few things there, but. 24 hour stream from high end. I don't know about that. I don't think I would be incapable of doing it, it's just... I don't know. With work and the family, I'm not sure it would be possible. Didn't um, the current CEO of Disney that they brought back, what's his name, Bob Iger or something? Didn't he say something specific about how he's going to handle superhero fatigue? Is bringing back shows of superheroes going to do it? I didn't really hear the statement. I just thought he, he mentioned he had a plan. I don't know what that plan is. But that's what I heard. Best Buy used to be Circuit City. So that's not really much of a loss. They kind of replaced a similar store. Although this corner, which is AT&T now, used to be Best Buy Mobile. Whatever that means. I gotta start watching that sh Apple TV show Constellation. Anybody here watched it yet? It sounds intriguing based on the uh, the blurb that I read about it. Uh, Kuma still recovering from that 24-hour stream? Oh boy. We're on to 14th Street. NYU has kind of taken over this one with more than one building. And they also were building, I think they like, called it Zero Irving Place right next to, I don't know, did that end up being an NYU building? I wonder what they have going on up there. I mean, let me swing over there. I haven't actually taken a look at that building, I think it's done. This is another 
Dwayne Reed, I think, on a corner here. And Food Emporium became a Target. Wait, I didn't even know that happened. The Food Emporium that was across the street there is a Target with the CVS Pharmacy inside. That's probably like the biggest Target I've seen in New York. Considering, and there's a sticky finger doing it. Okay, I think there used to be GameStop right over there too. Oh yeah, I remember Virgin Megastore was right by uh, Circuit City slash Best Buy now. Yeah, I remember that. It was a big two-floor Virgin Megastore. They had a lot of signings there too. Yeah, Food Emporium became a very big target from when I looked back on the inside. But yeah, here's that Zero Irving place coming up right after this NYU dorm. It is currently the largest target in Manhattan. Okay, so I kind of guessed right there. All right, Zero Irving. Oh, they got an urban eatery and beer garden. They got an interesting entrance with some sort of cartoony movies playing. And a beer garden. And an urban eatery. Well, it's actually not that big. But in the beer garden's in the back and they have what looks like cornhole. Huh. All right, and they got summer salt, but I think it's like a fish taco place. Okay. Yeah, you can go on street and go on Street View on Google. It's really fun to see how things have changed. I think the oldest Street View that I found on Google goes back to 2007. See certain parts you can see as far back on Street View as 2007. I think it's pretty cool. Welcome by. Trader Joe's here in a bit. Somebody mentioned they closed the, the liquor portion of it. I didn't realize they closed that, that store. It had been New York's Target. Oh. And again, where that, Dwayne? That's, a, that's another NYU dorm right there. That Dwayne Reed that's under it. When I was growing up, that used to be a triple X porn video store. Yeah, there's no more triple uh, no more, no more uh, Trader Joe's wine store. There's an interesting food court with a public bathroom. That's important. Put that in the uh, in the in the repository. This is that Gen Korean barbecue house. It's kind of new. It, was, it used to be a five napkin burger. Before that, I forgot what it was. Uh, this area is very different, uh, pre Giuliani. Oh, where are you? Quite different, pre Giuliani. Is Dune Part Two that good? I gotta watch Dune One then too. Bagel Belly, Bigs and Walk Sean. You gotta get the, get on this. What are you doing? Five napkin, right? Before five napkin was a beauty supply store. Oh, maybe that does sound vaguely familiar. I don't know. Uh, that Taco Bell, I don't know when that opened up that was not down here before. But that dinosaur mural has been here for a long, long time. Oh, where's, um, wait, what happened here? Oh, Milk Bar will be that way, one, one avenue over, closer to second. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's much on 13th to show you over here. Oh, they're actually filming something over here. Any, anybody want to take any guesses as to what they're filming before I read the sign? I'll let you know when I see it. Makes some walk to find them. I still didn't see what it says for the side. What was that? Uh, I can't read that one. Okay, hey, keep taking your guesses. I see Daredevil, Law and Order, Jurassic Park 6. <laughs> they already had a T-Rex in a city in Lost World, which I think didn't happen in the book, right? Uh, that was just a movie bonus. It's, uh, they're doing FBI, uh, full-blooded Italians. That's what they're filming. Does anyone remember that WWE <laughs> tag team? Or was that a group? It might have been more than just a tag team. It might have been a group. Do I miss artichoke pizza? I mean, missing that it's gone? It still exists. 
I didn't know West Side Market is open 24 hours. New York wins again. John Wick 18. If you're if you're missing out on John Wick and you like that concept, watch uh, Ninja Kamui. Oh no! What's, wait, did this theater shut down? No, it couldn't have. It just looks very dirty. I don't think it's is it? No, it's it's open. It's open. It just looks like nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's open. It's open. Is it though? How do you know it's playing here? Oh, there it is. Wow, there it's not a very updated. Uh, okay. Um. Let's see. Time check. Okay, let's go this way. We'll walk by Webster Hall. Wait, when is Fast and Furious gonna end? I thought they were like winding their way down there and uh, finishing it up. At Webster Hall, they're doing MX Presents a Conversation with Casey Musgraves. I don't know who that is. I don't know. I think this is part of Grace Church up ahead. And then there's that post office that we use as the facade of a post office in, in uh, Seinfeld on the corner here. You may recognize it if I give you a if I give you a view from a distance and use it in Seinfeld. Let me try to cross in the middle of the street. There's no cars coming if you want to take a look. That's why I'm walking this way. It's a Cooper Station post office. You'll notice it. It's, it's got a curved building appearance. Oh, the filming continues. Yeah, so if you know Seinfeld, you'll recognize it. Anyway, the filming continues over here. At least the trailers do. I don't know where they actually. It looks like they're probably they're actually packing up. It seems. So I guess they're done filming. Nothing going on now. I'm sure they had really good lighting for a lot of the day, though. <laughs> Walked by, making some jokes. Not too much longer, too. David Toast used to go to uh, Lester Hall. When it was the Ritz, Marisol loved Seinfeld. That Petersfield building, we walked by the one that's also the Petersfield building on 21st and 2nd. I didn't highlight that one because I didn't think we'd be walking by its uh, other one. But it has the same exact font, so I'm assuming the buildings are related. Cars here do have the right of way, so I will give a moment. As do the bikes. Oh, Pete's Tavern was in Seinfeld also? Oh, that guy's showing his left turn signal, was doing some weird stuff, but now he's finally turning. Pete's Tavern was in Seinfeld? I didn't know that. Yeah, Heldon Racket Club, I remember. The one here around 13th Street somewhere. Maybe off University Place or something. And I'll show you what kind of became our main go-to theater because it was the newest one that had the biggest screens it had IMAX uh, and it was the closest one to Stytown. And there was another Blimpy here. Like they kept shutting him down. He had to go farther and farther to get Blimpy. And there was one here on 13th and, uh, and Broadway, or uh, 4th Avenue, 13th and 4th Avenue. I'm gonna pass Unregular. I didn't like Unregular Pizza. I tried it, I didn't like it. I don't know, maybe I just got a bad a bad one. And I might have mentioned it before, but, but up there that used to be NYU rooms. I, I used to have uh, general chemistry recitations in those rooms right above Blimpy. When it was Blimpy. That's strange. <laughs> so they, they pack up the intersection, but they block the way to actually walk. So I just stand there and wait now. Like, I, I don't, uh, 
I make it awkward. That's, that's the whole thing. Just make situations awkward. You don't have to be angry or mean about it. Just make it awkward. <laughs> Pizzeria Uno is number one, yes. That's right. And not for the pizza, for the muchos nachos. Yeah, that was our theater. I guess they don't have Lavazza coffee. I don't know. If I'm going to have something in a movie that's going to make me want to pee, I think I'd rather have a, a pier. New School University is around here. They have presence. Presence. There's a lot of time. Now that we're here at a more decent hour, there's usually things going on. Usually things going on at, a, at that plaza in square. Yeah, it definitely was not a delivery burger. <laughs> now, Burger and Lobster does a very good delivery burger. I don't know what they do, but they do it right. It's not soggy. It's still warm. They do a good job delivering it. I don't know. Toyota Sierra Minivan is a daily car. I mean, hey, if it ain't broke, you know, that's, that's the best way to do it. You don't have to upgrade your lifestyle, right? And you can really save that money. Lifestyle, what was it Lifestyle Creep, they call it? Yeah, Burger and Lobster, very good, very good. They used to have a very simple menu. You used to only be able to get three things at Burger and Lobster. A burger, a lobster roll, or like a, uh, a I don't know, a boiled lobster, what would you call it? But that was it. And now they've expanded the menu. There's like two different types of sized burgers. It's all, it's all here. Get on regular, regularly. It's just regular. You should call it irregular, irregularly unregular, and then it kind of cancels out. Oh yeah, Anna. Which city, if you don't mind revealing? I think it depends. You know, like there's certain cities where there's just a ton of people, and like traffic is even more crazy because of poorly followed lights and whatnot. You know. Like, in terms of actual walkability, New York is pretty good. It's just, it's just the priciness of it all that gets to be a thing. Double Dutch. Over there, if that's what it's called. I'm not an expert on uh, jump rope terminology. Burger King might be closing in the Philippines? All right, Ron, it's, your, it's up to you to save them single-handedly. Burger King, breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day. Ron will eat it his way. That's McDonald's. Right? Wait, have it your way. What is it? What is it? Who's the... I was so close with that one, too. Until I started mixing brands. Is have it your... Wait, which one is have it... No, someone tell me which one is have it your way. It's not McDonald's. And McDonald's is I'm loving it, right? I'm loving it. That's one of the reasons if I think I, if I were to get a car in New York, it would probably be a Prius. It sounds like the most sensible car is a Toyota, so it's not going to be expensive to maintain. It's a hybrid, and it's not expensive to begin with. BK is having your way, so I was right the first time. See, never second guess, guess your gut, Adam. See, you know... Believe in yourself, and you will become Naruto. That's the that's the bottom line. Andrew was streaming from the Penn Station neighborhood. Yeah, Penn Station, that area, you know. If um, I would say, you know, uh, Port Authority is, is like the number two, and Penn Station is like like number one. I'm, I'm using like bathroom euphemisms. Prius are prime theft targets, really? Huh. Have they been able to mitigate that with newer ones? Are they like just too easy to steal or what, what, what's so prime about it? Absolutely, Ron. I'm just glad I remember to have it your way. They're packing up everything here. Kind of smells a little, like a little garbagey. Red's Bakery is around here if you want what some consider the best chocolate babka. I think it's on this block. 
Yeah, Brent's Bakery. That's the one we got that babka once by uh, Brian Park. Over there. Wait, didn't this used to be a... Uh, a diner of sorts? I don't know. Pedal car's most reliable. Uh-oh. We got, we got new types of... Uh, Rollerblading, uh, it's like the, the bikes in the middle of the, the roads. Oh boy. Yes, yes, Kawa. Oh geez, that bird ran into my foot. Man. I thought these birds are supposed to be better at navigating fast moving out. I'm not even moving that fast. We had a pack, this George Costanza would say. Zabar's Rugula is uh, is the one to go to. I don't. What? All right, why not? Prius and Accords of the Honda variety are uh, high targets. Interesting. Chocolate or cinnamon? I think I like the chocolate babka. I'm not even like a big fan of chocolate, but I think of the babka variety, I prefer chocolate. Paragon is a weird store when you go inside. It's it's a nice sporting goods store. I don't know how, it's a little pricey from what I remember, but they got a lot of stuff and it's kind of a weird store when you go inside. It's like multiple levels, like random stairs. It's like a collection of buildings put together, I think. Mattress firm, our nemesis is here. It was a coffee shop that was a Brazilian spot, actually. There's Rosa Mexicana, which used to be America, the restaurant. It was actually kind of a nice ambiance in there. Like the back of the restaurant was pretty cool. And like a bunch of presidents and all that stuff. It's pretty good. Hating season, so the birds are crazy. That's, is that what's going on? Oh boy. Oh, looks like ABC got a little bit of a facelift here. At least slightly. I don't know how different it looks now inside compared to many years ago, but this is one of the places, like on the second floor in this in this place, ABC, is when we saw like plasma TVs when they were first when they were first uh, becoming popular. I, I remember my mom saying, "I gotta get my uh, plasma TV." I think she got one like two years later, in 2001 or so. I don't know. She was really excited about getting a plasma TV. I gotta get a plasma TV. And this is another theater we used to go to. I think it used to be a Lowe's, you know, when we couldn't get into our theaters of choice. But, uh, or the timing. Right. That was another one. Anyway. Do I like the east side or the west side better? I mean, I grew up on the east side. I'm a little biased in that sense. But I can appreciate the west side. You know, the, 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 the river park by the Hudson, I think, is much nicer than when, anything we have on the east side by the river. So there's that. Because like anywhere you do have nice park on the east side by the river, you got that stupid FDR. At least there's a little bit of separation uh, on, on the west side from like the west side highway in certain areas. But along the east side, all you get is that FDR. And it's just, it's just, it's just, you know. Oh, Cat Yellow's here. Did I say, did I say hi to Sue Pitchford? Ah, Robotrack 75 Adam saw The Pianist. It's opening weekend at that theater. Yeah, I never saw one of the movies, but I did enjoy that movie. It's definitely not a, um, you know, a feel-good summer romp, that movie. I think I read that Adrian Brody actually learned parts of that difficult... Chopin piece he played for that uh, for that German soldier and was able to actually replicate it on the piano. I don't know how he would be able to do that, if that's really true or not, what I read, but I thought I read that. Justine is here, hello. Guacamole and Marks. I'll be down for some of that right now. 
West Side River Park and waterfront situation is next level. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so close to Central Park too. It's like not fair that at that point, right? This is the bike lane where they always go both ways and I have to look if I'm crossing it in both directions. Right by the Harry Potter store here. Someone tells me if you get butterbeer, you gotta put fireball in it. I don't know. I think I might have actually done it once in Universal. Hip. Used to be a fun restaurant called Punch. Never been there poisonally, but I guess I never will be now. Right under the Flatiron building now. I think I also saw Jim Gaffigan earlier today. Does anybody know like which region of New York he lives in? I saw him on the east side of Central Park. I think I think I saw him there. Five forty eight, okay. Skibbity bop. Park to my right was Shake Shack, its original location. Hey. Oh, do you live in Stuy Town? Interesting. If I could change two things about New York City, what would they be? Uh, the price of things, specifically uh, housing, <laughs> that will that will probably be the main one. And better subway access from like the Lower East Side, <laughs> Alphabet City. <laughs> but I don't know. Have I ever seen Michael Rapport? No, never seen him walking by. Andrew Evans got in line at 3 a.m. for the Harry Potter store. Oh boy. Anyway, Shake Shack. That art exhibit is still here with those floating jellyfish looking things. Remember how long that dog run was under construction for? We walked by it like a lot of Fridays. And uh, now it's just done. That's it. I can't see its progress anymore because the progress is no more. Oh, that tiny doggy. We'll hold rent to cleaner streets. Yeah, that'll be good. I mean, cleaner streets is also partly responsible. Of the, the people who are still living in the city are partly responsible for that too. Like, There's never a need to just dump whatever trash you have on the ground. Treat it like a, a national park. <laughs> Leave it cleaner than you found it or whatever it is. Allie, yeah, for now. For now, I think we're almost done. Maybe I'll walk up towards the Empire. Uh, there's a dog run. They got a hill for the dogs. People on the sides. Anyway. Shooter Friedlander. Someone in NYC subreddit posted a video of like kids vandalizing some of these things, but apparently they fix it up pretty quickly. Yeah, the artist and whoever works on it. Andrew Evans bench Shane Silent Bob. Kevin Smith and uh gosh, what's his name? Jason something? Ah, I'm terrible. Ambrose dumps in a national park. Well, I mean, if nature calls, you know, that's a different story. What are you, you going to do there? You fertilize, right? Stretch it out. Stretch it out. What is MoMath? Hey, wasn't it like a math? Wait, what are those people those waiting for? There's a huge line here for something. 
what is that bus doing? Oh my goodness. That bus took the farthest left turn from the right lane. Is that, is that? That was better. This is for Momath on 5th. Anybody know what Momath on 5th is? There's a big line for it. And no line for Mexico. Can somebody look up Momath on 5th? I feel like I gotta know. Inquiring minds want to know. Uh, they really made this a, uh, a bit of a bottleneck here, huh? Wow. I hope they fix that uh, on the road soon there. The street and sidewalk. It's not me, hello. Museum of Sex is here. I have been there once, I don't know how many years ago, 12? Maybe more, I don't know. It wasn't that great. I don't know if anybody here has been more recently and can say if it's been any better or not, but. Empire State Building and that ugly building right there. Anybody on the National Museum? Why is it so? They sell more math. But why is it so busy right now? I thought it would be like a kid's place, but no, it's like all adults. Are all those adults about to do some math? At Mo Math? Mo Problems? Yeah, the skyscraper, you know, it's absolutely huge too. It's very, it's very narrow though. So I imagine some of those upper apartments might have some swaying, especially on high wind days like Monday. I don't know. I should just get an apartment to spike them in there, yeah? No. I'll never afford that. Bow math after hours, that would be great. The drinks come out. Lost connection to YouTube chat. Yeah. Let's see if I can manually reconnect it. Maybe faster than that. Steven Pinker's there? Hmm. Pokeballs, Pokemon, the Russian, if only. Yeah, Twitch, I always keep connected to because they have a better API for making the chat than, uh, than YouTube. But for YouTube to work, this guy has to have like a separate server that like queues up the chat for the live stream and then he pulls it from there. It's like really roundabout, but I'm glad he does it. It's gonna be quite warm tomorrow. It might be a slight exaggeration, but you know, it's not gonna feel like it. $25 adult fee. No, drinks are included. Tamas Glock, simply says hello to everybody. Fifteen days until until MLB opening day. Huh. huh. Pay money to do math. Yeah, right. That, that equation doesn't add up to me. I don't need to go in there and ask him do the math for me. This, this math is a math for me. Out of all the maths that have maths in the past, this math is not math up. Hey, 
as soon as you get to see it. My go-to uh, Korean barbecue place is right here, Let's Meet, all you can eat. Don't bother paying the extra for the fancier meats, the cheaper one is fine. I have done the more expensive one and I don't feel like it added much to the experience. I was much happier with the cheaper one. But put that money towards another drink. Well, long division was the, was the worst. Yeah, only ever do short division. Forget about long division. Okay. Oh, there's this uh, Keki's Bouncy Cakes over there. Bouncy cheesecakes. They're very, very tasty. And very light. And not super sweet. There's a Rick and Morty party on the Upper West Side. Ooh, how do I get there? It's 500 bucks? You know, I'd be crazy enough to pay that. Not that I need a bunch of money saved up for a, a down payment, ideally, but... It's also only Wednesday. Do the cheesecakes jiggle? They do a little bit. If you pop it out and... Uh, Yeah, a little bit. Let's shake it around. And Wendy's used to be right there, and then they tore down this whole building. They left the column up for a while, but that got taken down too. Anyway, right under the Empire State Building. I have been to love when it first opened. It was all right. I just prefer the all-you-can-eat ones. But that's just me. Anyway... I know I said this was going to be a very long one, so I think I'm going to get moving. Uh, but I do thank you for for joining us on this bonus walk. All you can eat meat treat. A U C E E M T. A U C E C S E M T. All right, all right. Tomas said it's very high. Listen, listen. Cheesecake starts climbing the wall, call an exorcist. Or Ron, especially if it's from Burger King, because he's single handedly saving all the Burger Kings in the Philippines. But yes, thanks again, everybody. Always appreciate you hanging out with me. Uh, how many stories is the Empire State? 100 and something? 102 or something like that? I don't know. Off the top of my head, no number. I don't know how many official stories it is and then how many feet, because there's a difference, right? Because they include the spire and the feet. Anyway, it's up there. <laughs> there. There go my facts again. Hopefully they're helpful. Anyway, yes. Thanks again, everyone. Always appreciate your support. And in, in, in any donations, super chats, super chats, PayPal's, Patreon, memberships, thank you. Subscribers, thank you. Not subscribers, thank you, too. Hey, where, how come I don't see Peter's information? I don't know. I feel like I'm still missing chats. Oh, boy. All right. I'll have to look it up later. Uh, yeah. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. If you're listening and you want to. We'll do more commuting tap walks. And sometimes we do these afternoon walks. I want to do more of these again. I always say that, but... Especially as it warms up and there's more sunlight out. It'll be nice. And then, uh, 102 floors. I was right when I said it, right? That's cool. If, if that's what you found after searching it and not just repeating what I said. Yeah. Uh, and of course, thanks to the mods. So again, have a great rest of Thursday if you're still in Thursday. Otherwise, I mean Wednesday. Gosh, I don't know what day it is in the week. Wednesday, if you're in Wednesday, have a great rest of Thursday. And we'll see you officially Friday morning. Yeah, everyone's angry. Friday morning for a walk down south towards Chinatown. Anyway, thanks again, everyone. See you soon. And that's all I got.